All right, Dan, let's show you what's going on with your girl, Sis. Uh, get your next update video, how she's doing. Today, we're working on some more um, on-leash obedience. Um, today, we're uh, taking some more steps towards getting some control going, uh, getting some of those basic foundations laid. Um, I was going to tell you that, you know, I definitely feel like um, Sis is a, um, a tender-hearted dog. She is a... Um, a sweet, lovey dog. Um, I would even call her a little bit cautious. Um, her reaction when she's faced with something she doesn't know what to do is is to to be afraid. Um, but those are not that big of a problem. Um, it just we have to be aware of who she is and that we need to to. to she's a dog that's going to need a soft touch, is what I'm trying to say. This is not a dog we're going to need to apply heavy pressure to. Um, she is a dog who wants to please, and so we need to use that rather than heavy pressure. Um, which, so that's that's actually good. It actually goes faster usually when they're a pleaser like this. Um, so, um, you know, we've been getting bee buddies, nice and lovey. Um, what we're working on today is I'm going to show you is kind of what we call formal obedience uh, with the leash. So we're going to be doing a lot of control today. She is also wearing her electronic collar. Um, we're not going to use it today. Um, but we do want her to get used to having it on. So she does have that collar on today. Um, and, uh, we're also today going to incorporate the whistle. Uh, so we're going to use the whistle in particular for here, the here command, tweet, tweet, tweet. So it'll be three short blasts. It means here. And then we'll use one blast for the sit command. So we need to make sure we get some, uh, some basics going for the sit command. We're also uh, working a little bit on manners with this, um, putting feet on people. Can't allow feet to be on people. That's a, a dominance thing. She's checking to see if, if she'll get away with it, and she doesn't. So we want to make sure we, we help build some of these foundations. Good girl. So let's do a little few reps here. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Good. And we're going to sit. Good. Good girl. She also works nicely for praise. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but she gave me a little tail wag there. Okay, tail wags are important. That tells us that she's feeling good. She's feeling happy. Come on. Good girl. Good. Good. Good girl. Very good. One of the things that's really important that she's doing really well is she's looking at me. Um, that's what I want to see. I want to see the dog. Good, good girl, looking at me. And you can see that the tail is wagging, even though it's a little low. That tells me that she's cautious. She's feeling cautious. She's feeling like, am I doing okay? She's she's checking with me to make sure that I'm happy with her. Um, she, like I said, she wants to please. She is a, a lover, um, a sweethearted dog. Good girl. Good. Girl. So let's do a little bit of a uh, recall here. Hey. Good. Good girl. Good. Here. All the way down. Good. No. No. Good girl. Good. Good shit. Okay. Heel. So, I like the way these commands are going. She's making solid progress. Good girl. Getting more confident, um, which is going to be something we're going to, I'm sure is going to be a, a constant theme for, for Sis here is to, to build confidence. Good girl. Good. That a girl. Good. Good. Good girl. Here. No, I want your butt on the ground. Good, good girl, good. All right, heel, good girl. So all in all, I feel like we've made great progress these last couple weeks. Um, this is definitely a cooperative dog. Um, like I said, she's a pleaser, a lover. She's not going to be a dog who's going to be difficult, who's going to... Um, defy you. 
She is a dog who we simply need to help her understand what it is we want, and she will do anything for you because she is a lover. She's also quite talented. I mean, her, you know, like we saw in the first video, I mean, she's got plenty of drive, plenty of desire to get the bird. Um, so that's not a problem. We just need to work on building these foundations. So this is off to a good start. We're doing great.